It's a little thicker than I wanted it to be, but that's what she said, so it's okay. Hey, thank you, Generic. Yeah, man, I've been really liking the painting of all of this. I'm glad you guys are also here for it, man. Obviously, it's very different than what I normally do. And it might not be the best thing to do viewer-wise, you know? Like, viewer-wise, it's probably best for me to just stream StarCraft and StarCraft alone. But I don't really want to stream just StarCraft. <laughs> As long as there's enough people interested, I guess it's fine, right? We still seem to be able to make the sub goal basically every day. Regardless of what I stream, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> These are way too thick. Why is this so thick? That's also what she said? Yeah. How did you know? I mean, it is kind of the elbow bit, though. Yeah, I'm going for the race tribe, Luke. It'll make him run faster, J-Bub. Speed is of the essence for an Ultralisk. Now we'll let it dry and then we'll glaze it and then we'll see how it looks. I think this is an easy fix if we don't like it, so it's fine. I'm not too concerned. Now, while it's drying, we'll work a little bit on the base. Just trying to hit the sharpest points, really. And only on the top. But I think once we glaze it down a little bit, it'll be a lot, much less intense and it should look quite nice. I hope. Oh wow. That actually kind of looks cool. <laughs> I just dragged that out with my finger. Finger painting, dude. You see that? That actually kind of turned out nice. I don't know how I did it. Don't think I'm going to be able to recreate it, but uh, or reproduce it, rather. A little bit of finger painting apparently coming into the mix. Basically three years old all over again. So what I did is I dragged it out like so. Oh, you actually get some texture that way. That's funny. Look at that. You know what, I'm fucking gonna do it over here too. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Huh. Okay, we'll dull it down a little bit later when it's all dried up. Fingers, dude. <laughs> the original paintbrush. Yeah. <sighs> Love to see it. What's going on, Mr. Moulton? How are you, man? Okay, guys. I have never painted a marine like this before. Uh, I want to turn him into a blood angel. I have blood angels red. I think you probably like put like a different color red underneath, but we can look at a video too. You were the captain of the Warhammer team at school and you got into war. Nice. Dude, I really like painting. I don't know anything about the game, but I started painting recently and it's been really fun. 
Are you calling Molten a nerd, Motless is? Bro, he can beat your ass in StarCraft. He could beat you ice closed, Motless is. Just to prove the point, I guess, that he's a nerd. Yeah, yeah, no, he's pretty nerdy. Yeah. You painted your first mini in like 2001. Nice. Okay, um, I want to do a couple different colors. Hey, he said that the mini was done in the video, didn't he? Oh, he's standing on a little bit of metal. I didn't quite realize that part. I have no idea what the mini is standing on. Should I use purple? And we're going to apply this over the top of... Hold up. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the rocks. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can do that. I didn't realize he was standing on a bunch of rocks. Black Templar. I'm also gonna do it on the uh, the little wooden bits. I think that's a good idea. With the sort of growths. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're out, about to get 98 Hunter in RuneScape, dude. Let's fucking go. That's legit. Are you doing a birdhouse or? Are you doing actual Hunter Hunter? Oh, I haven't played the, the, the new update. I guess the new update probably makes it better. Are you doing herbivore? Okay. I was thinking... Uh, the Hunter's Guild they were talking about some time ago may actually make that skill more fun. Yeah. Dude, I haven't really played RuneScape lately. Somehow, ever since I've been painting Warhammer minis, I haven't been playing RuneScape. How is that even possible? I wonder if there's a correlation there somewhere. Probably not. Nah, I doubt it. I heard a lot of people are liking the new RuneScape update quite a bit, though. Apparently the new content's really good. I mean, I tend to go through these phases where I really like one thing and then I like another thing again, but so far I'm really liking uh, Warhammer minis at this point. No, I'm not doing a full army. Nah, I'm just painting minis I like. Speaking of which, I am open to recommendations for what I should be painting after this one is completed, guys. I think we should do something else at another tier in it. I obviously have the Storm Drake that I want to paint at some point too, but I was thinking something maybe a little smaller than the Storm Drake. But I mean, size does not necessarily mean that it's easier, right? So small may actually make it more difficult. I don't really need something easy. But if you guys have something you think that would be really fun to stream, let me know. Because I have compared so many different miniatures at this point that I can't really make up my mind. Also, because some of them are quite difficult to get a hold of. What's going on, Selderic? Size is everything? Hmm.
That's true, dude. It's the only important thing. You as a dating man, you know everything, right? You're a bit of an expert. A relationship connoisseur. Dude, this angle is not my favorite. Don't want to hit the purple. Or the little marine, dude. You have a girlfriend, man, now? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, you're still dating your girlfriend, right? Does that count? I don't know if it counts. Do you guys paint Warhammer minis together? Because that's really cute, dude. You should definitely do that. You should still date your wife? Absolutely, man. Otherwise, Selderick will. He will date your wife. Oh, wait, no, he has a girlfriend now. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind, he won't, he won't. But maybe somebody else will. Is the stream lagging? What? No! Is it Seekhart? Please tell me it's not lagging. Hello? Not again. Not again! Is it okay now? Hello? Sound is fine, video is not. Oh, so it's different than last time. Is it different than last time? It's stable now? I should go ask Lauren actually real quick, see if she's doing anything. One sec. I was wondering if maybe Loran would uh, suddenly start, I don't know, watching a show or something, but she's not. So we can't even blame her, chat. Nope. Yo. Ancient cheese with a deadly disease. Ancient cheese with a deadly disease. Ancient cheese with a deadly disease. Ancient Weird. cheese with a deadly disease. Ancient cheese with a deadly disease. Ancient, Ancient cheese with a deadly disease. I don't know what you, uh, but thank you, Shadarki. No idea what you're talking about, though. But I do appreciate you. Okay, I'm gonna make all the dirt brown. An old uh, step, whatever these things are, we're gonna make them black. And then we're gonna dry brush the whole thing on the base. Actually, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to paint the, uh, the Blood Angel guy first. If you freeze, you're frozen, but if you cheese, you're chosen. <laughs> what? Is that something people say, or did you just come up with that? If you freeze, you're frozen, but if you're cheese, you're chosen. Man, that is, that is beautiful. Never heard of that before.
Okay. Kind of hard to say where the sand ends and the dirt begins, or the rocks rather end and the dirt begins. We'll have to layer it on top of it, uh, top of it, I guess. You need that on a t-shirt? Yeah, that sounded very sophisticated, didn't it? I really like this little miniature base, by the way, that Dylan put together for this mini. It's really nice. The cut up marine hair at the bottom. I'm assuming I'm just gonna put Blood Angels red over it and then it's gonna be Blood Angel, right? I think that's what we're gonna do. What color is the um, insignia for the Blood Angels usually? Like the, the thing on its chest. Is that gold? No idea. It's dark silver? Okay, I may have to look up a little video on how to paint those guys as well, because I don't really know how they usually look. Some people found cheese in a sarcophagus and they found that it contained a deadly disease. Oh shit, I did not know about that. Are you an ancient Egyptian? I knew it. You should totally buy this loco and then paint it on stream. Did you try to find the most expensive thing in their shore in their in their store? Oh, you didn't even. They have more expensive stuff than this. Yeah, that's really cool. I actually really like the um they have one for the Chaos Knights. Um This is like a similar version, but then the Chaos Edition. Like, for example, this dude. It's a very similar thing, but it's got like more dirt and like a bunch of birds and spiky things around it, which is really cool. But also one of the most expensive models they sell. And I don't think I should do that at this point. Maybe at some point in the future, but there are many other cool models that I can go ahead and paint that are not nearly as expensive. I feel like I can't really do a model that, that size justice, if that makes any sense, you know? That is like, a, that's like a Platinum League and a buff mini. I feel like I need to go and uh, play uh, the lower leagues first. But maybe I'll reconsider in a couple weeks, dude. At this rate, I honestly don't know. <laughs> Yeah, they have some really big ones that are, so as far as plastic minis go, I think that's one of the most expensive ones that you just linked. But they also sell resin ones. I think the resin ones are much more expensive. Don't know why really. I guess it's just more expensive to produce, but Don't know what the advantage of resin is over plastic. Is there an advantage? There's a hair on this little there's a little rock thing over here that I'm painting right now. There's a hair immortalized into the primer. One day, 
somebody's gonna be able to dig up this mini. And they're gonna be able to uh, extract the DNA from this thing. And grow their own very own. Either Dialan or Loco. Because Dialan made this base and the mini. Could be me as well, though. That's hype, dude. Dude, you have four of those Imperial Knights, but you've never painted them? Dang. Like, those big ones? Because they have smaller ones, too. Big ones? Dang. That's pretty cool, dude. You should paint them. So did you bite them all four at the same time? Or did you just... Fuck it, I'll add another. And then you were like, ah, fuck it, I'll add another one. <laughs> fuck it, I guess I'll add another one. <laughs> Big and expensive. The Talmenta? Yeah, I heard of the Talmenta. $2,000? Fuck me, dude. It's not that nice, is it? Maybe it is, I don't know. But I don't want it. Ba, ba, ba. I'm gonna use a cheaper brush for this little segment, because these are my nice brushes, and I don't want to fuck them. Yeah, it's just a plain looking thing. Okay. The base of the base. It's gonna be brown. I will dry brush it later. To give it a little bit more variety. And I may add some blood splatters here and there too, actually, if I can figure out how to do that. Got a lot of terrain to cover, though. Try finger painting? Nah. We have a lot of little crevices. There's a, a bunch of texture on the base. And I think my, uh, my fingers would not do nearly as good a job getting into all of those little nukes. Doesn't have to be too tidy, though, I guess. No, crustacean. What did I say? I didn't say anything too weird, did I? No, that's fine. I think the very last thing I should add is the blood. Because the blood doesn't usually get uh, a bunch of mud mixed into it, right? But I can definitely dry brush over the armor too. So, 
I'll paint all of this up. Then paint the armor, I think. We should be nice at that point, I think. It's a massive mini, dude. Holy crap, that base is actually huge. <laughs> Could just put a just pour the paint on there, I guess. Might be faster. There goes my Cygor Brown. The passage of time is unstoppable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna both be old before too long. Or wait, no. You're already older than me. I'm gonna always be young. You're gonna be old as shit that way, man. Ay, ay, ay. Not mean, not me. I'll be young. I think you're like a year older than me, right? So... Basically ancient. Actually, old is my current age plus one. That's how it works. If you're wondering whether or not you're old, it's my age plus one. I'm 31, so if you're 32 or above, you're old as shit, dude. Thank you, Fierce. I think I'm going to stick with the brush, though. Is the stream okay now, by the way? We had a little bit of a lag spike, but it seemed to be my internet, I think. You're ancient? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I had to find out this way, man. I think we had, like, a... I think we had like a little internet hiccup or something. We blamed the system administrator of our uh, stream, which is me. I typed SH and I accidentally shut everything down. Is sysadmin still here? Rookie mistake, shouldn't have done that. 92, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 92 is the year to be born. Best year. Too much brown? No, that's probably fine. Gotta get underneath the Marine's boot.
Thank you for all the follows, man. I notice a lot of new followers and a lot of first-time chatters whenever I play, or whenever I stream this, rather, which is pretty sick. Welcome, everybody. Don't be shy. You can say hello in the chat. Well, there are definitely some scary dudes here, though. Like frozen TV dinner. Terrifying. Terrifying. He only bites if you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. Loco won't bite. Yeah. <laughs> Fear my old age? No, dude. If you think you're old, just realize Mopless is in the chat. He's practically ancient. Whenever I have a question about what to do with my life, I go to the village elder first, aka Modlesis. I'm like, Oracle, Oracle, please teach me. I first off have to get into his home though. There's like weird CRT monitors. It smells like cigarettes and stuff. You just hear the perpetual sound of printers connecting. And the data dial-up. It's really weird. And then somehow through the smoke. Yeah, he will give you a quest. He will give you a quest to find your true self. He will give you a quest to, I don't know, make a love potion or something. There's plastic wrap on the couch. <laughs> You're like, what is this? Why is your couch wrapped in plastic? And he'll just say, you'll understand when you're older. He kind of sounds like Deckard Cain. When you leave, he says, stay a while and listen. And you're like, oh my God, no, bro. I need to get out of here. There will there be no BlizzCon in 2024? Will there not be? Have they just, like, talked about it? Wasn't there a BlizzCon last year? Or wait, I don't remember. Yeah, I think there was. Yeah, yeah, there was. They just didn't do anything. That interested me. We'll make a nice black rim here, around the side eventually. It was very impressive. Yeah, clearly. I mean, back in the day, Blizzard actually released some really cool stuff, right, at BlizzCons? Uh, not recently. I've been to a bunch. It was really fun. Hello, Let's go your tutorial. Thank you very much. Welcome. Multiple profitable games. 
and then they just decided to throw them out of the window. Like, Blizzard basically decided, yo, if it doesn't make at least a billion dollars every five years, we don't care. Which is an interesting mindset, because you didn't have to choose, you could have done both. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Their product, they can do whatever they like. Yeah. What's going on, Essimor? I mean, the ESL tournament is running for a full month. Uh, I, I did, you know, I don't get paid to uh, not stream, right? <laughs> That'd be weird. I can't afford not streaming or, or, you know, doing anything for a full month. It's amazing though that they're running for that long. Really cool to see StarCraft tournament still going strong. But I can't afford to uh, not streaming for that long. That'd be crazy. Okay. Yeah, they've changed the format up a bunch. <laughs> right, Bubba says? It's actually insane too, man. From what I understand, David Kim, for example, really wanted to make another RTS game at Blizzard, but they were like, no. So they're like, okay, fuck it, I'll do it by myself. And I think that's basically a story that we've heard from every competing Blizzard company. Obviously, none of them have succeeded yet, but... It's also wild because Blizzard sank so much money into trying to force Overwatch to be a successful game. Trying to force the esports scene and stuff. When they already had esports scenes that were doing just fine. It's, I don't know man, it's just such a shame. It really uh, boggles my mind sometimes when I think about these things. Like, you already have the Blizzard StarCraft 2 scene, right? And you decide, no, 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 no. We want to compete with the big dog. So we give up on that entire thing. And we spend millions upon millions upon millions. Into Overwatch esports. And it's like, yeah, cool, I guess. But you already had StarCraft, man. Like, literally 1% of the budget that did go to Overwatch would have done really well for StarCraft 2. Obviously, that did continue StarCraft, right, for some time, but... At some point, they just decided, nope. Which really is a shame. I fucking love StarCraft, it's a great game. I just don't disagree, or I don't agree with the business decision they made at, at Blizzard. Because they could have done both, they didn't have to. Wait, my audio is desynced? Is it? Test, hello, hello. <laughs> Is my mouth not moving with the, with the game or the, the, the screen? Oh, that may be a Twitch thing. Yeah, that's probably a Twitch thing. Another company I don't understand sometimes. <laughs> Good old Twitch. Fucking love this platform, but at the same time... Don't quite understand some of it sometimes. <sighs> Thoughts on upcoming Twitch call? Um... 
I mean, I'm gonna go to Amps or to Rotterdam for a day. Because, you know, it's right there. But I don't know if I'm gonna get tickets. I have a bunch of people that are going, and I think I'm just gonna... Like, I know a bunch of streamers that are going and stuff, so I think I'm just gonna, like... Get dinner and hang out. I'm not planning on buying a ticket for the event, though. Because last, last time around, it wasn't really that interesting. Yeah, I'm down for a meetup or something. If you're gonna go, Mutlesses, please let me know, dude. Then I'll get tickets, but... If it's just gonna be, uh, yeah, I don't really care about the event itself. It's weird too, dude. So like, one of the things they did for TwitchCon is that as a streamer, as a Twitch partner, you would get, you could get tickets for like 50% off, which I thought was a bit funny. Cause like, you know, fair enough. Without Twitch partners, and there's really not that many Twitch partners, right? Without Twitch partners, this website wouldn't be possible. So they gave Twitch partners 50% off for TwitchCon tickets. This year, they got rid of that. This year, you have to pay full price as a Twitch partner to go to TwitchCon. Which, I don't care that much about the money, but just the whole mindset is just so stupid. Right? Like, we really have to, like, pay for, like, those 100 Twitch partners that go to the event. We really have to make 30 bucks more on each and every one of them? Like, come on, man. Just the whole, the whole setup is just so stupid. I don't know. It's not about the money, it's just... <sighs> Without partners, this platform wouldn't exist, right? It's just so weird. Why not just treat people a little better, man? No, I don't really feel very valued by Twitch, that's for certain. I feel like a number in an Excel spreadsheet. And that's okay. That's ultimately what we are, I guess, to, to Twitch. But, like, it's, it's little things that would make it nice, you know? I thought it was a bug initially, but I don't think it is. They just got rid of the partner discount. <laughs> it's like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, it's so silly. It's also like, you know, if you were to make the partner tickets free, right? For Twitch partners. How many people would really go that wouldn't go otherwise? Like maybe 20? 20 tops, I would say. We really have to fucking, like... <laughs> do we really have to, like, make that 30 bucks more? I don't know, man. It's just so, uh, yeah. I don't even know how many partners there are in the Netherlands. Can't be that many. Imagine Twitch calling and none of the creators show up. Yeah, so the way they fix that is they pay a bunch of people. They pay a bunch of people to go to the event and to basically be there. But I don't think anyone from Twitch has ever talked to me, to be honest. Like, uh, back in the day, yeah, back in the day, sure. But not in the last, like, five years. I don't think anyone from Twitch has ever reached out to me. I had to reach out to them once, though. Because suddenly my partner pay was significantly less than it was supposed to be for one month. And they were like, oh yeah, by the way, you had to fill out this taxation document. I was like, what? It's like, yeah, yeah, you had to fill that one out. I was like, oh, well, I didn't know. And they're like, yeah, yeah, no, you should have checked. It's <laughs> <was> like, what? <laughs> this is weird. This is like five years ago. Maybe they do a better job with that sort of thing now, though. Because apparently there was an expiration date or something for that document that I provided. And they just automatically were like, nah. 
fuck you. I was like, what? Twitch? That's not very nice. That one though, I guess I should have known. But I figured they would send me a reminder. <laughs> it's okay. Add a bunch of that blood paint right over here. Just making sure that the entire bottom section of it is nice and dirty. Okay. But suddenly the marine is a lot more obvious. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of cool. If you have like a bunch of people you want to meet up with at TwitchCon, it's really fun, obviously. Because it's like it's just like a celebration of nerd culture, basically, right? Which is kind of fun. That I agree with, for sure. Okay. Um... <laughs> yeah, basically, Blue Hair. Very similar mindset. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna actually, like, see if there's a... War hipster blood angels. I'm sure he's made a video about blood angels. Of course he has. Blood angels are his favorite, is what it says. So, my blood angel doesn't have to be super tidy, because um, it's dead. And it's supposed to be kind of gory. Up to you. This recipe will work over both. However, we want it to be slightly darker and colder, which is why we've gone with the gray sear. And the first color we're going to be using is Baal Red, new contrast. I don't have that one! <laughs> and we're going to be getting this over all of his armor. Now, we're just going to start painting this all over like this. Now, Baal Red is a kind of single pigment contrast paint. So you don't have to worry. Smooth, delicious. You... Okay. He's doing Baal Red into Agrax Earthshade? Basically, anywhere. Okay. Do they usually have uh, black backpacks? Do they usually have black uh, backpacks for the Blood Angels? Really? This dude loves painting his thumb. Yeah, I did a little bit of it too. This is how you can tell I'm taking it serious, Mickey. Nobody will accuse me of not taking it seriously. No, I think I'm going to make the backpack red as well. Yeah. I think that's the plan. Yeah, I... I so I have a paint called Blood Angels Red, which I think I'm going to be using for the Blood Angel, rather than Ball Red, which is not Blood Angel Red. Dude, I'm making a bit of a mess here, am I not? Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to freshen up my water real quick, guys. I'll be I'll be back in a minute. Actually, less than that. <laughs> meow wow. 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 How nice. I got to hear that Shadarki while I was taking a piss. That was very yeah, thank you. Thank you for that, man. I, I got to hear meow wow. Meow. Very nice. Lenny is here, dude. What the heck? He was just hiding. He was just hiding. There he is. My life is very weird. <sighs> is Lenny licking paints? Yeah, 
He usually sniffs the glue when I don't pay attention, blue hair. He's crazy, man. Gotta be uh, very careful. How's my new video doing? Hello, everyone. My name is Loco. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. My name... Hello. He hello, everyone. Hello, every... Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> that was completely unnecessary. Um... My stream was looping? No, 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 that was just me, dude. I was looping. I have a little bit of red to paint. I don't know, is the full backpack going to be a red? What is that, what is that, um... Hmm... What is a Blood Angel backpack supposed to look like? I have no idea. Combat Patrol Blood Angels. Do they have like a 360 picture? Hello, sir. Can you do a 360? He can! Sir. Huh. This one has like a diet or like a, like a skull type of thing. Okay. I guess we'll have to figure this sort of thing out. They have different kinds of armor. Different marks of the armor. Going to be a red 